Hey Sagittarius, welcome guys. I'm back with another video. I have been in my A4 a little bit. All right, that's because I've been busy, guys, with the website. If you haven't checked out the website, guys, be sure to check out the website. It's www.empressempireoils.com. All right. And as well, guys, no, I'm not going to tell y'all yet. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait to tell y'all. But I got some new things coming for the channel. Some some different little things coming for the channel. It'll be up and posted. I'll be talking about it soon. All right. So for now, guys, let's just hop into November. All right. So let's see. I know some of the Sag's birthdays is in November. So happy early birthday. I know we're still in Scorpio season. All right. So let's talk to my Sagittarius. If you have Sagittarius in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, north node, south node, you can utilize this video, okay? Thank you, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. Please give me a message for the Sagittarius, please, for the month of November. What's going on with my Sagittarius? Sagittarius, please. Let's do one more shuffle. All right. So at the bottom, guys, we have the Knight of Cups. All right. And we got the Six of Cups. Okay. So it looks like there's an offer to return to something that was a uh, very beneficial queen of pentacles the magician the nine of pentacles you feel like you have a choice to make whether or not if you want to stay or not and deal with the situation but i'm getting like some of y'all are saying like look let's keep it as as it is some of y'all are leaving the situation just as friends and moving on okay I'm getting somebody, giving somebody to giving somebody a choice. Okay. But I do see an offer on the table. Um, there's an offer on the table. Whether to return. Okay. So we got the hermit, the lovers, the world, and the five of wands. The queen of wands, the two of cups, the two of wands. Two of Swords, lots of twos, Ace of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. All right. So, like I said, there's an offer on the table. You could be making this offer or someone could be making this offer towards you. But it looks like it has something to do with someone or something from the past. Wanting to resurface or you're just in a nostalgic energy. Okay. But... I feel like you could be in um, avoiding this situation with the hermit here. You could be dealing with the Virgo. We got Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I feel like you are in hermit mode, like you're isolating yourself. Tell me why the hermit card is here. I feel like the chapter has closed. So you're kind of just like hiding out, you know, not being on the scene. Why is the Hermit card here? Justice. All right, so you're looking for justice. You're looking for justice in this situation. So it looks like you could be dealing with the Libra, but it just looks like it's something to do with the past, okay? It's like some. It's like somebody here is it's ego, okay? It's very ego-driven with the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Wands. This is somebody who's feeling themselves, okay? And it could be somebody who you dealt with from your past because the Six of Cups is here, okay? I feel like somebody here made a choice. Or somebody had a lot of options. Somebody had to drop an option. Somebody has to get dropped. I feel like you got tired of giving to this situation. You saw something here with the paper swords. Or you are watching this person. You want to see what this person going to say. If they're going to let you walk away. Um, it's like you're, you're kind of like. You're 
I want to say on, from the outside looking in, like you're just looking at, you're observing. I feel like some of y'all are looking for get back, looking for justice. Mine's a justice card here. Mine's justice here. The four of wands. Someone could be married, legally married, still tied to a situation. Maybe you found out, found this information out. This could have something to do with the court system as well. We got the king of swords here. Yeah, and somebody's being judged. Somebody may have to actually go in front of a judge. Um, I'm seeing that as well too as a possibility. I'm seeing a final decision being made or you think like this is the final straw. I'm getting a lot of y'all saying, look, this is the final straw. I see you being, I see you mad with the Knight of Swords energy. You're pissed off about something. I feel like you didn't see something coming. Um, somebody left. For sure. The Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords. Either somebody left or somebody is getting ready to leave. Um, tell me more about this Four of Wands. Okay. Two of Pentacles. Somebody's juggling. Two families. Two households. Or somebody just has a lot going on. I feel like you have a lot going on. Things are moving slow for you. Um, now we got the world card here. Three of Wands. Yep, you was you're waiting for something to end. Um, because you got a lot going on. You got a lot going on. So you could have been the one that left. Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords. You know that this person wants, you know. We got the high priestess and nine of cups. You know this person very well. Okay. Um feel like you you know this person so much that you felt like you were the perfect person for this person because you know them so much but the way something happened i see you being mad i see you being upset we got the five of pentacles here maybe you did not get something out of the deal that you thought you were going to get i feel like you could be upset about this because you had to make a decision to cut somebody off or the decision was just a tough decision that you had to make. It wasn't an easy decision. Why is the lovers here? The nine of wands. Yeah, so now your guard is up. Your guard is up. I feel like you want to make sure that this person regrets whatever it is that they did to you. You want to make sure that this person regrets it. I do see you wanting justice, okay? So, yeah. I feel like you feel tried in a sense. And now your guard is up. This person tried you in some way, shape, or form. It's like, oh no, you you tried it. You tried to pull a fast one on me. You tried to pull the wool over my eyes. Why is the five of wands here? Yep. Five of wands and six of wands. It's like you want to find a way to where you come out on top. Because you regret. You are... Crying of spilled milk. You're regretting something that you said. You feel defeated with the Five of Swords here. You feel played with the Knight of Wands and the Five of Swords here. So you feel like this person got one up on you? And you want some justice. Now, the Queen of Wands is here in the past to be dealing with the Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This is you guys' this energy and the King of Wands. Okay, so you and this person, you felt like you and this person was a match. We got the King of Wands, Queen of Wands. You felt like this person was a match. Now, we got the Queen of Cups here. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We got the Chariot card right there behind, behind it as well. So, you could be dealing with the Cancer. I feel like you were being very patient with this person. I feel like I feel like you were extremely patient with this person. 
Um, you felt like things were moving forward. Um, I see you putting in work. I see you going hard, too, with the Seven of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. You was going hard for this person. But then we got that Ten of Wands. Okay, this person burnt you out. They burnt you out, so you ain't have nothing else to give. Okay, you ain't got nothing else to give to this person. They done burnt you out. So you feel defeated. You feel defeated. And I feel like you want revenge. You want get back. Why is the, um, the two of cups here for future energy? The hangman. So you put this connection on hold. It's on hold for now. It's on hold. You feel like... We got the moon. The moon and the sun. Okay, so definitely. You want to expose this person as well too. Because I see the tower and the queen of swords. This is like some type of shocking truth. Like something... Um, surprising and then it's an explosion here somebody being exposed the moon and the sun you put this connection on hold but something about this is going to be exposed maybe you want to expose this person you want the truth to come out about this person that's the two of wands here yeah see you pissed off knight of swords and the two of wands you want some get back you want some get back you will you you are even willing to wait uh, as long as you pop. you're willing to wait for as long as possible to get this you don't care how long it takes you want to get back this person got you feeling like this and it's it's like you dis you're super disappointed because whatever you had planned for this situation did not go as planned okay It did not go as planned. And I, I see you are upset. Now, the source envy, you feel impulsive as hell. Like, if you could just do something right now, you would. Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Magician. I feel like... You still hold on to this situation. You're still holding on to the situation. After the situation has come to an end. Okay. With the death card here. You're holding on to a dead situation. I feel like you aren't communicating with this person. We got the king of cups here. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, You're holding on to the situation. Because maybe you feel like. Okay. Well maybe later I might change my mind. This person could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person could already be already in another connection with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay? They're taking a break from you. And they're moving forward. This person is very much so go-getterish with this King of Pentacles here. And the Knight of Wands, this person is all about their bread and butter. Okay? They, they want a relationship, but they want stability in a relationship. They could be spying on you. Um, to see if you have if you're having any regrets from the past of what happened But I do see this person is wanting to talk to you, but they don't want to be the first to reach out. So they walk away Okay This person over here They're undecided. Okay. They're not sure if you if this is too much for you So this person is over here feeling like you know what? I'm not sure really how to how to come at this I'm not really sure how to come at Sagittarius right now. I know that I don't burnt Sagittarius out you know, don't weigh Sagittarius down. Why the Ten of Wands here? Yep, there's an ending. They know that this is the end. Well, they're feeling like they're, aren't, they're uncertain if this is the end. They're not sure with the Two of Swords. Like I said, this person here, Temperance and the King of Pentacles, the only way that things are going to move forward with this person is if your finances are in balance. You and this person can come together financially. This person is after stability, okay? If they aren't feeling stable, then they're willing to take a break, okay? But this person is feeling like, yeah, it's over with. Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords is definitely, that's two tens. 
it's over. Okay? It's over. This is how this person is feeling like. Dang it, it's over. Now, in your hopes and fears, we got the Ace of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Maybe you fear or you feel like this person took you for everything that you had. You're looking at the situation in defeat. Like you feel defeated. You feel played. And I see you having a lot of regrets. Yep, King of Cups. This is how you feel. You feel like you got took. But I still feel like you think about this connection. Ten of cups and the six of cups. Like you, you keep going back and reminiscing about this connection. And you spying on them as well. Like you seeing like what's new, what they got going on. Yeah, four of pentacles. You're still holding on to this. But you don't want to reach out first. The talk. You, I see there's no communication. You don't want to be the one to reach out and talk to this person to clear the air. This person is over here like, you know what? I'm not sure. Maybe this is the end. I don't know. But this person is a heavy hitter. Like, this person is, is a no-nonsense type of energy. They want uh, they want it all. They not for the, they not for the, the game plan or nothing like that. They want everything. They, they want you to give them 100%. Why is the Eight of Wands here? You're thinking about whether you want to reach out or not. I see you trying to keep a friendship with this person to kind of be able to spy on them, see what they got going on. Um, but you're thinking about it. I see you thinking about it. Like, I don't know. I don't really know what to say. Yeah, you're thinking about it. Like, you ain't come up, you haven't really made a decision on whether or not you're going to reach out to this person. Because this is just like, you guys just feel like betrayed. You feel like defeated. You feel, it's like a, not a good feeling. Okay, in a way, I feel like you want to change that direction and be more in control. I see you want to be more in control here with the Emperor card here because you feel like you took a loss. Um... This is weighing heavily on your mind. Like, you're overthinking this situation. Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords. You're heavily thinking about this. Because um, you're looking at... You, you're having regrets. Okay? You're regretting your decision. You're regretting it. You're having regrets. All right? So, that's the message that I got for you guys. All right? So, if this message resonated with you, be sure to hit the like button. If you're interested in booking a personal... All of that information is in the drop box below. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. You're not going to want to miss future videos, all right? So until next time, y'all, ciao for now.